Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I'm kind of a DIYer when it comes to typewriter repair. A few years ago, I ran into this post on the Antique Typewriter Collectors Group of someone using nail polish to fix the paint damage on one of their Hermes 3000 machines. Now they suggested the shade Time is Money by Sally Hansen, and I've also seen some other Hermes 3000 owners suggest that the shade Essie in the Modem is also a good match for their machines. But the basic concept here is that you take a machine that has a little bit of paint damage, maybe a chip somewhere on the surface, and you can use a bottle of nail polish in the exact same shade to correct that paint damage and protect the edges of the chip so it doesn't grow further on the machine. There are a lot of areas on a typewriter that can get damaged or chipped just from normal use. Anytime you have a portable machine that's getting lifted in and out of a case that has back brackets, you're going to get some chipping or scrapes around the back of the typewriter. And you might also notice on a typewriter across the top where your return arm might scratch across the surface and wear away at paint. I've tried this trick myself and I've used black nail polish to actually fix some of the paint chips on some of my glossy black finish machines and I really like this trick. Again, it's not so much for repainting a machine or something that has severe damage, but anytime you have a little chip on your typewriter, using something like this trick can really help protect it from getting worse over time. I've also tried to find other nail polishes that match machines in my collection so I could use this trick. I tried finding the perfect shade of yellow or gold to repair some of the paint damage on my Royal Safari in the shade Antique Gold. I wasn't successful in the video that I made about this, but a friend of mine, Emma from Lychee Pink Planner, helped me find the exact shade that matched my Antique Gold Finish typewriter, so now I can use that when I'm repairing paint damage on that machine, and that shade was Essie Taxi Hopping. So I really like this trick and I'm kind of a nail polish hoarder. So as a nail polish collector, I've also noticed that there are some brands that have recently come out with their own custom color creation websites where you can create your own custom nail polish color. So I decided to take a few of the typewriters in my collection and try to create some custom colors so I could use them to fix paint damage on the machines in my collection. Now this trick really works for more glossy paint finishes. It's hard to get a nail polish that's going to match a matte finish or crinkle paint typewriter because there is texture there, but the concept remains the same. So I picked a few of the typewriters in my collection to color match using these services. I've found personally that green shades are the hardest to color match because you can either go really blue or really yellow in your green undertones. So I decided to pick two of the typewriters in my collection that have a greenish hue to them and are kind of unique colors to utilize when testing out some of these nail polish websites. So I started with my Tower Chieftain. Now this is a rebadged Olivetti machine. This came from Sears and Roebuck, but I really like this typewriter. It does have that crinkle paint finish, and I swear it looks greener in person. It looks kind of brown here in the footage, but it's a typewriter that I've had that has a little bit of paint damage and is really hard to color match because again, it's kind of greenish, but kind of brown, and no one is making a brown nail polish with green undertones. So I decided to take this typewriter and try to color match it just from my nail polish collection of what I already have. I did find Find a kind of close match with this orly shade called all of you Kelly but as you can see in the bottle it matches but when I do a patch test it's really really green so I wanted to find a browner shade that would match this tower chieftain another typewriter I wanted to color match was my Smith Corona silent super in seafoam green try saying that five times fast this machine has some paint damage, and again, it's a crinkle paint finish, but I do know that this shade is pretty popular because they had them across the Smith Corona line, so I did want to create a nail polish that would match this as well. I do have a nail polish in my collection already that's kind of similar. This is Sinful Colors from their Ascent Chills line, which is scented nail polish in the matcha flavor scent. I don't know, it smells different, but it's almost the exact color. It just leans a little yellow. So I wanted to find a nail polish that would also match this shade. Now, some of these sites allow you to upload your own photos to color match from. So the first step in this process was to take some really good photos. Color matching anything is really dependent upon the lighting. Here's the same setup with four different light settings, each one giving you different tones. I've also noticed with phone footage, it tends to lean slightly redder than photos taken on my DSLR. And none of these even accurately represent what you might see in person with your own eyes. To get the best possible photo to color match, I tried taking photos of my machines in a bunch of different lighting types to find the midpoint tone. 
Here's a photo of my Tower Chieftain. With just one bump of the color settings on my DSLR, I ended up with two totally different shades of brown. Even your computer screen after you upload an image will make the colors look different. I went ahead and tried to make a sheet of all the shades I found on the tower across all the photos I took and of my Smith Corona. I also took an old ad from Smith Corona on their 5 series color line and tried to get swatches of all the shades they originally advertised with this machine. Sapphire Gray, Coral Pink, Desert Sand, Alpine Blue, and of course Seafoam Green, which is the machine that I have. Even in these samples you can see how different the advertising shade is from the sample that I took of my own photos of my own machine. Here are all the varieties I found of color, with a category for the midpoint of each shade of each machine, in hopes that the midpoint of all the colors I might find would be close to the right color in real life. So when doing custom color curation or creation with nail polish, the first brand that comes to mind is Orly Color Labs. But as I was doing some investigation into Orly Color Labs, which has a physical location as well as a website, I also found some ads for this new site called Blank Beauty. I never heard of them before, but they also allow you to upload a photo and pick a color from that picture. So I decided to start with those two, Blank Beauty and Orly Color Labs. So this is Blank Beauty. It looks to have quite a few options available, but I went ahead and decided to make my own custom color. They let you upload one of your own photos to pick a color from, so I went ahead and chose this photo of my Tower Chieftain. This photo was color corrected to be as close visually as to what I think this typewriter looks like in natural light with the human eye. Blank allows you to click around the photo to select a color. I tried to pick one from the machine that was a midpoint of all the lighting. Once you select a color, you confirm it and have the option to name it. I went with Tower Typewriter Taupe and had to Google how to spell taupe to make sure I spelled it right. You can go back and reselect a color if you don't think the shade is right, but it does take you back to the beginning of the process. I also got a discount code for a free second color by signing up to be on one of their mailing lists, so of course I had to make a second one. I went with my console typewriter. I've been trying to match the blue on this one for a while from my own collection, but haven't found anything quite right yet. So with my two custom colors and a pearly top coat because I couldn't help myself, I was done with my Blank Beauty order. Now Orly is a mainstream brand and I have quite a few of their nail polishes in my collection. They started a custom color lab in California in a physical location and then during the pandemic they moved to an online format so you could create your own custom colors from the comfort of your own home and get them shipped from the color lab in California straight to your door. So I decided to also try Orly's custom color labs. Just like Blank Beauty, they allow you to upload your own photo for color reference. They also have a selection of photos in their library, which can steer you into your color choices. I uploaded a photo of my Silent Super Smith Corona and tried to pick a midpoint color. What's different about this software is that instead of selecting the exact shade you pick from the photo, they provide you with a series of options related to the shade that you pick. Some of them are lighter, some of them are darker, or have different undertones. I tried to pick a spot that gave me the most green options and tried to pick one that seemed close enough to match. Now one thing that Orly does allow you to do is adjust the saturation and brightness of your color once you've chosen it. This does help you fine tune your selection. Once you've made your color choice, you can name the polish. Now you can choose to either ship that polish directly or after picking your color, you can schedule to meet with a professional. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh. Hi, I'm Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm just going to start here, okay? Okay. That's so satisfying. <laughs> Definitely on the green side now. Mm hmm. That was so awkward. It could be that it's 8 p.m. on a Tuesday for me and like 3 p.m. for them. I felt so awkward about that, but hopefully the color matches our typewriter. I don't know, it was a little light, so we'll see when it gets here. So I've been working on this like color matching color polish video off and on for, I don't know, maybe a week, two weeks. And the other day I was scrolling through Instagram after checking out all these customizable nail polishes and I found a post from one of the brands I followed called Color Club and they were announcing something called the Polish Factory the first week of February. So I put it in my calendar and I think they're announcing that you can also customize nail polish. So um, we're probably also gonna have to add that to the list of tests because I have a problem. On to Color Club. 
What I did like about the Polish Factory from Color Club is that they allow you to pick a finish for your polish, which none of the other services did online. I selected metallic because I was thinking we could match the metallic blue finish of my Electra 120. I had just cleaned it and was on a bit of an electric kick. Now you can see here that they provide a bar of color options. Instead of allowing you to pick from a photo, you have to pick from a shade in this set range. Honestly, I found it really difficult to use and adjust because I wasn't starting from a photo reference. I tried to fiddle with the blue to get it just right. The undertones were my biggest issue. I didn't want to lean too green or too purple, and I had difficulty adjusting those subtleties using the software. You can also name the polish and select an emoji to be printed on the bottle. You also have the option to select the font and text size. All of these custom elements are something you can't do in the other custom sites I tried. Once I got to the checkout, I noticed the color pigments were coated with this identification, blue 210. I even went through the process a second time and got the exact same color code. This makes me think that they have a set number of colors you can pick from in their color swatches so that they're not adjusting the pigments, but rather letting you adjust the elements around the color to create your custom color. With all my orders in, it was time to wait for the mail. Blank Beauty was the first to arrive out of the bunch. When I opened the package, I was actually shocked. The bottles also have your selected color as the custom label, along with your chosen name for the polish. They also have a QR code that takes you to their website. Just setting the bottle next to the Tower Chieftain, I could already tell that this color was pretty close, but the only way to know for sure is to test it. Here's my swatch from All of You Kelly from Orly. Again, it seemed sort of to match in the bottle, but you can tell it's super green on the machine. I swatched Tower Typewriter Taupe right above it, and it was almost dead on. I also tested the Sentry Console Cyan on the bottom of the machine. Like with patch testing cleaners, you want to test these colors in an inconspicuous location. I did find that this color was a little light compared to the machine, but that's more on me than Blank Beauty. I didn't take as much time trying to match this one because I didn't know I was getting a second polish until I put in my order. I was really impressed by Blank Beauty because I'd never heard of them before. I really didn't know what to expect. And the price point was so different than the other nail polishes that I was getting during this experiment or I don't really know what to call this, but it was the cheapest out of all three of the brands that I tried. So I was really surprised at the quality, the fast shipping, and how custom this color was. It was dead on for both of my machines. It was a little light for the console, but again, I think that was on me not taking my time. And I think if you're careful with how you approach this and take your time in matching that color, you can get a really close shade. And again, I was just really impressed with the quality of this. I also messaged the brand after I had made these nail polishes and took pictures of them next to my typewriters and they did mention that they'll be coming out with a matte finish eventually. So that might be something to keep in mind as well. With some of these more matte based typewriters, it won't be as shiny when you apply it to your machine if you decide to use one of these services and Blank Beauty. Orly showed up next and came in a custom sleeve. Right out of the package, I knew the shade was wrong. I knew before the shade even shipped that it was too light. I knew just from the Zoom call that it wasn't the right shade. I did a quick swatch test of this polish here on the back of the machine. I had a swatch from the Sinful Colors down here, which honestly was pretty close, maybe just a little too light, but you can see here once applied, this color is way too bright for the Smith Corona Silent Super. I had been wanting to do Orly Custom Color Labs for a while and I had never come up with an idea that I thought was like the right thing to make into a nail polish. I think it is important to mention and keep in mind that this is not for color matching. Even when you upload the photo to their website, they don't give you the exact shade you click on in the picture, but they do allow you to adjust it as you go through the process. So I can't be mad at them that this is not exactly the right shade and they even mentioned that in the Zoom call that it's hard to match through screens. I found the process a little intimidating because it wasn't made for what I was trying to make this service do, which was color match a typewriter. If you want to create your own custom nail polish, this is a great opportunity for that because you can pick a color and change the finish and make alterations in the Zoom call. And I think the Zoom call is a really cool additional feature, which kind of merits that additional price point. But personally, I didn't like this service. I just wasn't having a good time with it, but I think that's because I was trying to make it do something that it wasn't designed for. The nail polish though is beautiful. Color Club told me it would take two to three weeks for processing and shipping. I also did this on the first day that they opened the custom lab, so it took a while for me to get my order in and ship it. 
Once it arrived, I was able to do a swatch test. Now, this shade came in a custom box with a custom tissue paper and a custom carton. You can see here on the front of the bottle, it has my custom name for this polish, Azure, this is right. Yes, I went with another pun. Immediately, this shade of blue is far too bright to match the Electra 120. I did swatch it on the machine so you could see the difference in shades, but immediately removed this swatch because I did not want to ruin the finish on this typewriter. The metallic element of this finish actually reads more like a streaky finish that you might find in a pearlized based polish. It almost feels like there's a hint of purple in the metallic finish, which also might be why it reads so bright. And I'm not surprised that this isn't the right color because they wouldn't let me pick my own colors. The big differences here between these services are the ability to use photos to color match. And then I also found that the prices were another big difference here. Blank Beauty was about $9 a bottle. And I also was able to get some additional bottles of nail polish because of a deal that I had when I signed up for the website. Orly was about $24 and that included a free Zoom call to do that color consultation. And then Color Club was about $19.95, $19.99, and it took the longest to get here after I ordered it. It took about two to three weeks to get here. So the price differentials here really seem to favor Blank Beauty, which I also liked the process the best because I could be really specific about the color I was choosing. But again, I took my time trying to match that tower typewriter. As I look back on this experience, I do think that these websites are not necessarily made for what I was trying to use them for. So using Blank Beauty, you were able to color match based on a photo. And I think that's great for what I was trying to do. But photos can look really different depending on the lighting and the settings you have on your cameras, the screens that you're using. So there's no guarantee that it's going to be the exact shade. I think both Color Club and Orly are really designed for making your own specific nail polish. They're not focused on color matching a specific shade, but more for you to be creative with how you're coming up with colors. So it really was kind of unfair for me to try to use them in this way to match specifically a typewriter, because again, you're matching through screens. And I didn't get to use some of the cooler features of some of these because you can add different glitters and finishes to these nail polishes that wouldn't match the typewriter I was trying to to match it with. So it doesn't show the full spectrum of being able to use these services. I think this is a really cool trick, but I don't think you need to go through all the steps to try to get your own custom nail polish color to make it work. I know lots of people just take a part of their typewriter into their drugstore or into Sally Beauty and try to color match it there in the store. And I think that's probably the most effective way to do this process because you can test right against the panel and that just seems to be way more effective than trying to color match through a screen. So I think doing this in person is probably the way to go. And Orly did mention that if I was there at the physical store, I could take the typewriter in with me and they could get it to be the exact shade. So I think physically matching colors in person is probably the best way to get the exact color. But I did like trying all of these services out and it kind of meets my nerdiness levels of typewriters and nail polishes, which very rarely overlap. But for this, it seemed to work. Again, anytime you're doing something like this, it's important to patch test in an inconspicuous location, just like with cleaners. So undersides of panels or back pieces that you're not going to see very often, that's where I tend to test these colors. I didn't test any of these swatches on a place where it was highly visible. I tried to make sure I was hiding the swatches just in case it was the wrong color. Nail polish like paint can also dry down to be a bit darker. So when you paint it on the surface of your machine, it might be the wrong color and then dry down darker. And then you can also apply different top coats to this as well to protect that surface even further. So that's kind of like adding a sealant to a paint job. I used a matte based top coat or a mattifying top coat over the top of some of the shades on my machines just to make them less shiny. You don't want, as you're looking at a machine, to have a shiny glittery spot on it. So using a mattifying top coat can help reduce some of that shine, or you can look for more matte based finish, typewriter color, nail polish to begin with. So that was my experimentation with color matching nail polishes to some of the typewriters in my collection. I've linked down below some of the previous videos where I've tried this before, and I've also linked all three of the websites that I tried for this experiment and video. Thank you for letting me do this. This was, I really enjoyed this kind of experimenting. There's something about color matching that I just really enjoy. If you're interested in other typewriter content, I do have some other typewriter themed videos here on this YouTube channel and on Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and remind you, you're just my type, writer.